to the sun god. Beautiful is thine awakening, O Horus, who voyageth over the sky. The fire child with glittering rays, dis. Pelling darkness and gloom. Child increasing in stature. And sweet of form, resting within his eye. Awakening all men upon their mats, and the creeping things in their holes. Thy vessel pursueth its course in the waters of Nezus, sir. A. And D. Thou voyagest over the firmament with the wind that is favorable to it. The two daughters of the Nile shatter for thee. The dragon. The god of Ombos. Shooteth him with his arrows, kept standeth as witness. Upon his backbone, Selkis, on his throat, and the fiery blast of these snakes burneth him up, even of them that are upon the gateway. Of thine house. The greater in Ed, it rageth against him, and how it exulteth when he is hewn in pieces. The children of Horus. They grasp the knife that they may inflict on him many wounds. Aha! Thy foe hath fallen, and right standeth firm in front of thee. When thou changest thyself again into atom, thou givest thine hand to the lords of the nether world. They that sleep. Adore thy beauty all in concert, when thy light shineth in their faces. They speak to thee of what they desire, that thou mayst once more vouchsafe them the sight of thee. When thou hast passed them by, the darkness covereth them, and every man is again in his coffin. Thou art a lord in whom men may make their boast, a potent, everlasting God that giveth judgment, that presideth over the court of law, that established truth and assaileth iniquity. May he be put on trial that hath trespassed against me. Behold he is stronger than I and hath robbed me of mine office, which he hath taken from me by lying. Give it me again. Behold, I see it in the hands of another. Thou lofty one, whose course is not known, how mysterious is thy being! August mottled one. That giveth light with his two divine eyes. When he sitteth the two lands are blinded. Beauteous disc with shining light dispelling the darkness. Great hawk falcon, traversing the two heavens. Voyaging also over the nether sky to its full length and breadth, and never sleepeth he upon the way. When day dawneth he revealeth himself again in his place, as the shining one, whose course none knoweth. And how mysterious he is, when darkness sitteth in, the dark which blotteth out faces. Thou august sun with white light, by whose beams mankind doth see, in whose nose is breath. Men live and die. By his nod, he it is who causeth the closed nostrils to breathe again, and the straitened throats, according as he will. There is none that liveth without him and we all have issued from his eye. Give me thine hand, help me, O judge that taketh no bribe.